what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video i am going to be reviewing the new Too faced collaboration with erica jane the pretty mess eyeshadow palette so i don't have the details for you as far as release date and information like that so once i know i will put it in the description box for you guys it's just i don't know it right now as of now they haven't put that on their social media yeah i was able to pick this up so early because i guess somebody accidentally put this out on the nordstrom floor it was at the very bottom of a display and i just happened to walk by and I was like what oh my gosh they haven't even like shown what this looks like I snagged it and here I am so if you don't know who Erica Jane is she is on the housewives of Beverly Hills and uh, yes just so you guys know I love the housewives I love Erica she's so glam she has like a glam squad that travels with her everywhere so it only seems fitting that she actually like made her own palette and highlighter with Too Faced as of now what I know is that it is just a palette and a highlighter that she's coming out with uh, obviously is subject to change and subject to change it was as I'm sitting here all glammed up editing the collection also includes lip injection in painkiller pink a couple of lip kits a all over glow powder and the highlighter as well so that was just released on trend mood so i'm gonna go into the information that i do know about this palette it is 42 dollars. that is how much i paid for it, and it is limited edition it says it on the box as well as the packaging that it is limited edition but it's a collaboration so obviously it was most likely going to be a limited edition product. So when you purchase the palette, it's going to come in a box like this, and it has this Tara If You Dare Warning Explicit Eye Shadow Palette. So extra, so cute. And then you literally can just slide it off, and then you have the regular outside box packaging. It says Pretty Mess, Erica Jane's name is on it. And then if you actually look on the back of the box, it has the colors and the shades. Pull that box off. We're going to get to the good part. The actual palette, it's pretty simple packaging. It just says Pretty Mess on a grid Erica Jane really cute very simple and then on the back this is what it says go from housewife to club queen with this exclusive palette designed by Too Faced co-founder Jared Blandino and his bestie superstar Erica Jane these are 12 essential shades Erica uses to transform from a natural Beverly Hills beauty into her iconic glamorous onstage persona for a look that says it's expensive to be me have you guys ever heard that song so now you open up the palette and it is going to reveal 12 shades now for those of you who like mirrors this palette does have a big mirror on the top and then you get 12 shades that are in a scattered formation some people will find that annoying because they'd rather save the space and just have it straight I think it's cute but okay yeah you could totally have a smaller palette if it was straight but you know it's Erica she's extra what do you expect now all of the shade names are really cute they have kind of Erica styled words I don't know clothes off show and tell rich is better whatever who cares queen E, you know things like that but it does reveal 12 shades and as you can see I'm surprised this color scheme is in the very pinky mauvey family which we have seen a lot of recently like this is a very popular color theme in palettes i like it it's really pretty i love pinky mauvey tones but of course you know it's not the most unique palette at this point in time really really pretty though so of the 12 shades six are matte five are shimmer and one is a pressed glitter i actually really like the variety in finishes in this palette i like that half of it is matte because honestly i use so many mattes in a look i think it's really nice that it's not in all shimmer palette or anything there are a lot of mattes to create looks and they're good mattes too they're very very usable mattes for every look so you have clothes off which is a great highlight shade you have show and tell a great transition shade rich is better which is also a great transition shade i don't cuss on my channel so i'm just <laughs> gonna say f frugal which is a good deepening shade if you want a more mauvey look and Private Jet Setter, which is a deep chocolate brown, which, oh my gosh, the formula of that deep chocolate brown Private Jet Setter is so amazing. It is so pigmented and very blendable. That's one of the best chocolate brown shades. And then I think I forgot to mention Lap of Luxury, which is a light pink, which would also be a really good transition color. So I think it does have a very good array of mattes, the mattes I am very happy with. We're going to go into the shimmers. So like I said, there are five. There is Party People, Queen E, Whatever Who Cares, Sextravagant, and So Rodeo. Again, the shimmer themselves are very pretty. You have a copper shade, 
a cranberry shade, a light pink shade, a really light kind of champagne golden shade, and then a raspberry shimmer. Now, the shimmers aren't the best formula from Too Faced, I'm not gonna lie. I love the gold chocolate bar shimmer formula. I found that to be different than a lot of their other shimmer formulas. It's just so creamy, so pigmented. Unfortunately, the shimmers in that palette are not the same as the shimmers in this palette. This palette has a similar formula to the other most recent palette that Too Faced came out with the Pretty Rich. So if you have the Pretty Rich palette, the shimmers in this palette are similar to that formula. I will say these I do think are a bit more buttery, but they're kind of the same. There was one shimmer in this palette though that I did not like, and that was Party People. And you will see in the tutorial, the proof is in the pudding, why that did not work for me. But the other four shades I thought were really great. I really love Extravagant, which is that champagne shade, and then Queen E, which is that light pink. Those two are really soft and really pretty, but the darker shimmer shades are a little lackluster. Okay, and then finally there is one pressed glitter, which I have to say, I'm quite surprised that she only had one pressed glitter in this palette because she is so glam. But nonetheless, this is the exact same formula as the Pretty Rich glitter formulas, which I personally liked. This glitter formula might be a little bit more oily than the Pretty Rich, but they're basically the same. I just noticed that it pressed down a lot easier in the Pretty Mess rather than the Pretty Rich. And why are their names so close? This makes it hard to talk about them. <laughs> so Worth Its Weight, which is the glitter shade, is a deep pink toned glitter with flecks of gold and silver in it. They don't swatch the most pretty, but they are very nice to apply to the lids. I personally do like this pressed glitter formula. You don't need a glitter glue. However, if you're going to wear these eyeshadows, the glitter eyeshadows, for an extended period of time, I would suggest that you use a glitter glue. It just makes everything stick on a little better, which I personally don't mind. I like that there is a glitter shade in this palette. And I gotta say, from Erica, like I said, I would have expected a little bit more from her, but it still is a really pretty glitter shade. So I think that the array of colors is very pretty, but you know, you have to like mauve pinky looks to enjoy this palette. Like, there's only about two or three shades in this palette that don't have some type of at least mauve undertone to them. You really can't get a neutral look with this palette unless you use, like, possibly these four. I love mauve shades, so I like this palette. So overall, the quality of this is good with the exception of the one shade, Party People, which I could not get any pigment off of this. So here it is on my finger. And as you can see, it like barely went across. Usually deeper shimmer shades, I find are relatively easy to formulate for companies because those are always really good in palettes. So the fact that Too Faced kind of bombed on it, the mattes blended really good. For the most part, the shimmers are okay. And I like the glitter shade. I like the color theme of this. Overall, I like this palette. So let's go into the tutorial of how I got this look that I'm wearing. So I started off with the shade Clothes Off and I used this to set my brow bone. For my personal skin tone, I would say that this is maybe a shade too deep for me to use as a matte highlight, but you know what? I still made it work. It's really good for setting all over concealer on my eyelid, uh, but if you're medium to deep skin tone, you'll definitely like the shade. I then went in with Lap of Luxury, which is a lighter, paler pink shade, and I used that in the inner corner, inner half of my crease to start off the look. It was very soft. I mean, it blended fine. It's a lighter matte shade. I didn't notice it to be chalky. I thought it was nice. And then I went in with the more mauve shade, Rich is Better, and I used that on the outer half of my crease. Again, really like the shade. Didn't notice too much of a difference on my eye between the two shades, but they were nice and not chalky, which is something you have to look for for these lighter crease shades. I then went in with F Frugal, and I used that to blend out my outer corner and to deepen everything, and I thought the shade was really nice. I thought it blended out very beautiful, and I mean, it is a perfect shade for this look and for this palette. It just ties everything together in this palette, if you ask me. I then went in with the shade Private Jet Setter, which is that chocolate brown that for some reason is like amazing. A little bit powerful but you know, that's kind of what you got to pay for to get that good pigment. So I just patted that right on the outer corners and I blended that and it blended like a dream, really defined my crease. And then I took my small blender brush and kind of brought it in towards my inner corner to add more definition to my eyelid. So now we're ready to move on to the shimmer colors that I used on my lid. So I started off with Party People. Now here's my thing with Party People. I tried different brushes, different techniques, and I could not get it to show up on my lid. You'll see in the clip right now that it's just, you can't even see it. So 
like again that's the only real disappointing shade in the palette for me so once I gave up on that I went into whatever who cares and I put that in the center of my lid this is like a shimmery raspberry color not the most amazing quality with this shade but I mean it got the job done I just put that in the center of my lid I then went in with Queen E really like this this is one of my favorite shimmer shades in this palette it's a peach with golden shift to it and it's really pretty I just use that on the inner third I suppose it is I can definitely see myself using that in the future for every day I then went in with the shade sextravagant which is that light kind of highlighty color in the palette I put that on my inner corner and oh my gosh this shade's gonna look so beautiful with that deep chocolate brown in the crease and then that all over the lid Whew, I really like that color as well. So now, you know, I had to give the glitter shade a try. So unfortunately, all of the beautiful lid work I had going on had to go. So I took my Too Faced glitter glue. I just patted a little bit on my lid and I used my finger. I find using a finger is the best thing for this type of shadow. And I patted it right all over my lid. And like I said, I do like this formula. You can use it without the glitter glue, but if you want to get the most out of it, I would suggest using a glitter glue. And it is a really pretty glitter. I like their pressed glitter formula and then just for the lower lash line I just threw on the three matte shades that I use on the top on the bottom I don't want to go too much into that because it, I literally just layered them one on top of the other all right so who should buy this palette should you buy this palette I honestly think that this palette is going to be really good surprisingly for medium to deeper skin tones Erica's very fair herself and I mean if you're fair you can definitely use this palette but I do find these colors they do accommodate to somebody of a darker skin tone which is awesome now Erica's very fair herself and if you're fair you can definitely make this palette work But I do find the shades in here. They can definitely accommodate to more deeper skin tones as well So if you have a deeper complexion, don't let that stop you from buying this if you're interested Like I said, it's not the most unique color scheme Especially right now with all of the similar Mavi palette releases But if you like Erica Jane or you like Too Faced, I think this is a good pickup I do like the quality of this. It's pretty good Of course, you know, there are a couple things that I would fix if I had the ability to. As a fan of Housewives, a fan of Erica Jane, I was more than happy to pick this palette up and I do enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.